good morning. It's time for an actual morning coffee with Tina. And you are looking at a ferry headed off to somewhere and I need to find out where it goes. And all the people walking along, if you can see them, are headed to whale watching tours. I'm not sure it's the right weather for whale watching tours. The one time I went whale watching was in Hawaii and it was gorgeous. It's a little nippy out today. Although I am wearing my Burks and I'm fine. It's a very noisy place right here. It was noisy last night, but it's even noisier this morning with people coming and going. Um, I flipped you around because we're sitting on the deck. The view you just saw is what the deck is for me. Um, I also showed you a clip of it yesterday. We've been to coffee. David's working today on the matching chair. And I've been to coffee, so I guess I'm going to have to pick it up for you into coffee at Velocity Coffee. We'll be going there every day. Mm. Kind of gotten very used to my own coffee. The coffee seems, a, does it seem wimpy to you? It seems a bit wimpy to me. Yeah, it's one shot. But weird wimpy. No, like the coffee itself is wimpy. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I never used to like coffee. It tastes like, uh, I don't know, acidic or something. I've gotten, s I've gotten slop, I've gotten snobby in my coffee. Um, I got a bee sting. It's a little bit of honey, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, but uh, I told light on the sweet, and it's way light in the sweet and way heavy in the cinnamon. I'll try it again tomorrow, or I'll try something else tomorrow. We also have an orange currant scone, because we're living it up this weekend. Um, it's a good scone. Not too sweet, which was something I like. It's, in the U.S., scone means cupcake sometimes. But this is slightly sweet, but mostly not sweet, which I like. Well, so today, and I'll pop in again, I'll give you another cup. Once I get to the shop, I'll give you a quick, quick survey. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to give you a full tour. Because you're going to have to wait for the slow yarn crawl for that. With interviews with um, Numaka and Carrie and um, a full tour of the shop. And that will be in the slow crawl interview videos but I'll give you a quick swirl today and show you a quick view of the shop and just say hello to them because I'm here for the trunk show um yeah that's it this hotel's for sale if anybody's interested 1.9 million um it's a nice cl I've stayed here before it's a nice hotel but um it um it's time to do a re-update which is probably why they're selling it I wouldn't want to take it on. Although I did dream about, because when I go to bed, I do house redesign in my head, or I design knitwear. And I did debate, like, okay, if you turned this back into a house, what would it look like? I don't know if this was a house, or my guess is it was always a boarding house, but I don't know that. I'd have to look at the history. But we do like Port Townsend. I highly, highly recommend coming to visit Port Townsend. It's a beautiful town, and I'm not a much of a seaside... I mean, we're not at the sea, we're at a bay. But I'm not a huge seaside lover. But this town is lovely. I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright, it's blooming. I thought I'd take you with me as I walk to Bazaar Girls. I am, uh, it's very nippy. You know me, I don't like to wear shoes. <laughs> Look at these, the cute backs to these. Uh, these are cottages for, that are attached to the hotel we're staying at. And then we're gonna cross the street. As everybody drives around, we're gonna cross the street and walk along the bay. And we'll see, there's a cute totem pole. And I'm gonna not get run over. There's the bay, and the dock. downtown is just beautiful. The, they've left the old signs on the buildings. I think, as I understand it, most of the town was built in like 1898. I need to look up more history. Here's the little park. And the 
museum I took a photo of last night. And then this gorgeous building with this gorgeous painting on the side. Bull Durham. Smoking tobacco. And Lewis Emporium. And then this is, David talked about this last night. He, uh, it's called, I need to find out what it is. Look it up. Salish Sea Circle. It's, that. it's a cute sculpture. And then it looks like fishing huts. the Fred Lewis building, 1889. The ice cream and candy shop. And then a gift shop. And there's the cute fabric store, District Fabric. There's a hotel upstairs here. I don't know what it's like. And then this is a little seafaring gifty shop. And then we go to the Zara Girls. Oh, and there's a line out the door. Let's see if the eagles are in their perch probably the evening, so I'll keep my eye out and go out and show you the eagles, the bald eagles later. This is where they were last night, is out on these pylons. Looks like it used to be like a ferry terminal, but I don't think it is anymore. All right, we're gonna walk in, and then I will uh, turn you off. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Perfect. This is it. This is it, this is it. And then uh, we're gonna do trunk show here in a bit. All right, we're back in our hotel room after a very long day. It's nine o'clock p.m. now. And I'm just gonna close the video with this. Hopefully you enjoy the tours and the walking to the shop and a bit of wandering downtown at the scenery. Still have not got a shot of the Eagles. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow or Sunday. Um, I'm taking one day off this weekend though. I just wanted to let, this is the Donegal Tweed garment that I did not show you. It's called Twisted Terraces. It's out of soft Donegal. And it's a little nippy here. And you know me, I'm always prepared for the hot weather, never the cold weather. And so uh, it is a poncho that you knit from point to point and then add in the collar right here. So this one's done out of, I believe, it's one skein per segment. So two skeins of the gold, two skeins of the carrot on this one, and two skeins of the garnet. I have one that I'm working on that I'm clearly going to get back to because this is how comfy it is. It has kept me warm in the cold weather despite the fact that I'm wearing sandals, although I'm looking for socks. I should have knit some socks. I need to knit some socks or brought some socks. But... Um, I'm working on a purple one right now and I clearly need to get back to it because this has saved my bacon this trip. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I will uh, probably talk to you tomorrow.